Before we get started, I'm going to uh, ask if we uh, I'm gonna ask Sheriff John Sherry to lead us in prayer and lead us in the pledge. You stand with me. Lord, I'm gracious to heaven, Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this prayer that you bless us with. We thank you, Lord, for each one that comes here tonight, tonight, Lord, to watch over this precious meeting. Lord, just bless the leaders of our county, Lord, just watch over this blessed meeting during the meeting. Lord, just bless the leaders of our county, Lord, just watch over this blessed meeting during the meeting. Lord, just bless the leaders of our county, Lord, just watch over this blessed meeting during the meeting. Lord, just bless the leaders of our county, Lord, Service of the Southern Health Partners. Second. Got a motion, second. Any 
Any discussion? If none, all in favor say aye. Um, he's also requesting a resolution um, to make the following changes in the staffing titles and the wages to be effective October 18th. Um, do I need to read those out? Uh, or as I stated on the See agenda? attached. Can't you? Is that correct? See attached. Yeah. Can you get a resolution? Move we allow the revenue clerk to make the title changes to these four employees and the Pay rate shown. Second. Can you, can you got a motion all, second. Open discussion. Yeah, can you do all that with the percentage two and that all in one, or <laughs> we have to have two different resolutions? No, you can do it based on the request. Okay. Any more questions? <coughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 I'm all on opposed. Abstain. The Joe Whitstein. Does that record show Mr. Haley, Commissioner Haley abstains? Um, he's requesting to change Brad Carter's title to real property appraisal, personal property, effective October 18th with the um, hourly rate on the attachment. Can I get a resolution? I'll make a resolution is read for the change of Brad Carter's title. Second. Got a, res a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, none. Um, he's also requesting the 3% pay increase for the attached employees effective October 18th. Can I get a motion? Move grant to request for 3% rating pay increase for the remainder of his employees. Second. Got a motion, second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 I'm going to abstain from that too. Let the record show to Commissioner Headley abstains. Um, we'll come down to the probate judge. Is that it? I'm sorry, Mr. Keys, that is on his. Uh, our probate judge, Jason Calhoun. Thank you. Good evening, man. Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to be on the agenda. I'm just here for one thing, and that's to request a resolution for the approval of salary adjustments as shown on the attachment. 
for effective October 18, 2021. Can I get a motion? I make a motion. Second. Motion second. Uh, discussion. No discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Not opposed. Thank you. Coming out of the staff reports, Ms. Bakisha. Um, yes, sir. This is our third meeting for nominations for the IDA. Currently, um, Alan Caton was nominated, and the IDA is requested to reappoint Monica Cooper and Alan Caton. I need, a, I need a motion to open nomination. Oh, we already got a motion. Do we have any nominations? I'd like to nominate Christine Brown. Let the record show that Christine Brown. I um, need a second on the, this right here. Mm -hmm. what is, no. Yeah, you don't uh, well, no. Not a nomination. Well, well um, I, I guess I could speak openly. But, okay, Miss Miss Cooper sent an email to uh, Commission uh, Chairman Parnell and Miss Sylvia stating that she would like her name extracted from the nomination for this position. Just let the record show. Is that letter going to be part of the minutes? We can make that part yes. of the minutes. It needs to be part of the minutes since okay. she's been extracted. All right, so we have any more nominations? Can we get a motion we close nominations? I'll make a motion we close nominations. Second. All in favor? I mean, excuse me, in, in discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Can I get a motion that we appoint, <coughs> I guess we need to vote on them individually? Yes. That we appoint Alan Caton to the IDA for a four year term. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Got a motion, second. Any discussion? Yes, I got some discussion. It's, uh, Alan Keaton has called me a liar in public about statements I've made and about the funding and different things of the IDA. And in my opinion, he should not be on the IDA for, he didn't answer me, he didn't tell me what I lied about, and he's part of this IDA that's kept confusion going in this county with this project. And I don't think he or anybody that's on the IDA, I stated at the last meeting, needs to be reappointed to this this body. Is that everything, Mr. That's Mr. It. Williams? That's all I got to say. Thank you. Any more discussion? All in favor of appointing Alan Caton to the IDA board, raise your hand by vote. Aye. Those opposed? Three. He's Three, two. Now. One, two, three. They make the record show to a three two vote. Uh, Mr. Joe, Joe, Mr. Hardy, and Mr. Bone voted for Alan Caton. And Mr. Kelly and Mr. Williams voted against. No, voted no. Sorry. Make the record show that Alan Caton is going to be appointed to the IDA for the next four years. Can I get a, a motion that we appoint Christine Brown to the IDA? Make that motion. Second. Got a motion, second. Any discussion? All in favor by showing the hands. It's unanimous. IDA, <clears throat> Christine Brown. Thank you, guys. Now, do we need to reopen the nominations since that spot didn't get filled? It got filled with Alan Caton. We've we have got a quorum. Teams. We have a quorum, and you don't, you need to get a 3 2 vote on. Yeah, well, I thought Jordan. it took four. Christine Brown. Okay, I thought it took four. No, well, they don't take just the majority. Okay. Just the majority of right. those at the meeting. So. Um, this is the second meeting for nominations for the Sheriff's Merit Board. Is this our nomination? Oh, no. Yes, okay. sir. Anybody have a nomination for the Sheriff's Merit Board? Uh, let them let Mercury show that Cheryl managed. I actually spoke to her Sunday at church, uh, John, and she confirmed that that she is really able and uh, health wise to serve. Okay. Then we need to officially nominate her. Yeah, I would think so. I'm going to nominate. nominate uh, I'd like to nominate Cheryl Maddox. Okay. Any more nominations? Cheryl Maddox. Cheryl Robinson. Robinson. I'm sorry, Robinson. Robinson. 
I thought you said Maddox, too. Yeah, yeah I, I thought, thought you said, said Maddox. Maddox. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. But uh, so we will have another meeting, one more meeting. Yes, sir. All right. So any, any more res uh, any more nominations for that? Okay. I'd like to request a resolution to receive the bid for grounds maintenance. Can I get a motion? Move to receive the bid for the ground maintenance. Got a second. Got a motion, second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Um, I'd like to request a resolution to award the bid for grounds maintenance to Iron Man Lawn Care. It was the only bid received. <clears throat> Can I get a motion? Move to grant the uh, award the bid to Iron Man Lawn Care as the only bidder. So second. Got a motion to second, Mr. Kelly. And can uh, any any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 None opposed. That's all we all have, right. Mr. Chairman. Our county engineer, Tony Waring. How are you doing, sir? sir? Good, sir. How are you? Doing great. Just a couple items tonight. Uh, first item is I'd like to request approval for the preliminary plan for LMJ properties located on County Road 9. I'm moving to suspend the rules. Well, so we can discuss it. Well, we're going. If I can get a motion second okay. for discussion, we'll we'll okay. discuss it. Because I, I I still one thing I forgot. To, okay. Can I get a motion and a second for discussion? I'll make a motion. Did we second? Okay. Um, I, I'm sorry. I need to update you guys. I didn't get a chance to call y'all today. I spoke with Roger and I went out there to County Road Nine, and what I seen was the the trailer set up the way they are. The trailers had to be moved. There's nobody living in trailers. No property. He has filed the proper paperwork and permit and plat and plot through Tony. And I asked and I made sure that you know because I asked to table it that we was not in conflict with our previous discussion that we had. And that Tony says we're good. Roger says we're good, and everything looks good. Okay. So I'm. That's why I wanted to motion a second. Okay. Uh, in discussion, I would like for anybody in the future that's going to request this for them personally to address the commission. Yes. I'd like for them personally to come do it, not not dump it on you to have to do it. They need to come talk to us. Okay. While we're discussing this, I think I'm in a discussion with a guy about something like this. Mm -hmm. I was told that he has to present his plat to the commission for it to be approved, and he told me he had to go through the state to get that plat. Is that not right? Have him contact uh, Tony, uh, Commissioner Kelly. In the past, they'll submit the plat to us for us to review all the mm -hmm. requirements that need to be on the plat. <clears throat> if they meet all of that, then I'll bring the recommendation <coughs> uh, with a copy of the plat. So he, he draws his own plan up. It's got to be stamped. By an yeah, engineer. by an engineer. Yeah, okay. I think what he may be talking about is we have to take that and let the state show him that he can have enough spots and uh, um, uh, places to perk for his. That's where the state gets involved for his right. state. That may be that what may be. Okay. But he has to get this approved first where he can take it to them. So. Okay. So any other discussion? Right. Uh, no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 I'm opposed. Joe's opposed. Show Mr. Haley opposed. Commissioner Haley. Uh, uh, second item I have is a resolution to have Mark Collector added to the payroll as a maintenance operator effective October 27th. I move we had Mark Collector back to the payroll effective October the 27th. I have a motion. Can we second? Second. Got a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 And the last time I have, Mr. Chairman, is to request a resolution to have Blake Goggins added to payroll as a truck driver effective October 27th. Can I get a motion? 27th. I'll make a motion that we add uh, Blake Coggins as truck driver. Can I get a second? Second. second. You got a motion, second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for your work for on that for me, too. Thank you. And, uh, and our attorney also. Thank you. Uh, Donald Giles, our park director for Higgins Ferry and park ranger and, all, and grass cutter and all of those will be up. How you doing, sir? I'm just asking for a resolution for a 3% pay increase. My understanding is on the budget and brought it up and I didn't realize I had to come before y'all asked for a resolution for a full interest Yes, sir. Can I get a motion? I'll make that motion. 
Second. Second. I got a motion to second. Any discussion? Just for the note, it is note in his budget for that three percent, and uh, this is just uh, protocol for what we need to do. And, uh, yes, I got a question. <laughs> I bet I know where you're going at. I think I do. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I, I'm, uh, he's me and him's kin. I'm supposed to abstain on this vote, right? Oh yeah, that's not a question. Yes, sir. Okay. You're right. <laughs> I just want to be sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't really want a whole lot of people to know that. <laughs> Let me address that to our attorney. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a no, I, we got I, a motion. I claim him and proud of him. Any any other discussion besides family? Uh, can I get a vote? Uh, can I get a all in favor? Say aye. 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 And no, make, abstain. Make the record note that uh, Commissioner uh, Kelly abstains. Thank you, sir. All right, we come down to our commission reports. Commissioner Parnell is not here. Uh, if you would give me a little bit of lenience here, um, I want to discuss some something about the ambulance service here in Chilton County for just a little education. Maybe I can educate you best way I can, but I know that we've heard a lot of things about ambulance and why the county commission is not moving on this, this uh, ambulance problem. We are very aware that there is a uh, ambulance response problem, but I'll assure you it's not just in Chilton County. It is in the whole state of Alabama. Uh, by no means is the uh, is the county commission obligated to provide ambulance service. Ambulance service is provided by provided by an individual uh, uh, company. A, uh, a company. Uh, neither is uh, for the furthermore is this fire department uh, is is also a service. And I think years ago, and I discussed this with uh, Commissioner Williams and, and our attorney, years ago the, the fire department seen that there, there was a, a, a very di dire need for funding to support the volunteer fire department because they are volunteering and nobody gets paid. But they had to buy um, these um, equipment and everything. There's a lot. It's a very much expensive uh, job that people volunteer to do. Uh, they decided they went and got with legislator and, and many years and uh, what we say is eight I got it in my notes here but uh, 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 and made a piece of legislation supporting the local fire departments through uh, some millage tax that was provided and then also a special tax um, so I wanted to educate people to know that that we are working with the 911 board closely uh, if we have to provide um, some kind of subsidy for these ambulance services business because in a business if you're not making money you're not going to be here and it's I'm sorry but there's a lot of people that maybe don't have insurance or funding or anything to pay for these ambulance rides and those that are paying for it are, are paying for it we have a problem sometimes in this country that and that maybe that maybe 50% of the people I mean 30% uh, of the 70% uh, 70 70% of people pay for 30% of the people pay for 100% of the of the services and we do have this but um, uh, I want the public to know that we are working closely with 911 if we just go at this and say well we got the COVID money well let's just spend the COVID money well I, I have to beg a differ if we have to spend the COVID money what happens if it runs out who's going to pay for that it's going to have to come out of the, either the sheriff's department budget the road, the road department's budget or the county commission budget or, or the, anybody's budget something something's going to have to make up or uh, create more revenue, you know, and that, and that's the way that this is a set up. We have no control over the ambulance service at all. We cannot tell them what to do. We cannot tell them to be here or not be here. We are concerned about our ambulance service. I spoke with RPS's uh, owner, our CEO, and their problem is that they haven't got enough employees to respond According to him, I, 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 I don't run the ambulance service. I'm not on the fire department, so I can't dispute that yay or nay. That is him. We have spoken with uh, with St. Vincent's and Mr. Shannon at one time, and, and, and mm -hmm. the ambulance business is a tough business to be in. So if the county wants to be in the ambulance business in the future, you better have a lot of money. So there we go. I just wanted to just take a few moments and educate the people of our county and let them know that we are concerned but would we have to take this and and if i'm mistaken mr butch billings is with us i think we got about two more weeks for the bids come back in is that correct mr butch they went out november the 15th so it's a little bit longer two weeks okay and then we'll go from there is that what we're 
because he, Mr. Butch, and and the sheriff is a member of the uh, is a 911 board. So and they have a committee working on this. So I just want to, you know, because it ain't their fault, it ain't our fault, it's nobody's fault. It's a problem that we're trying to work out the best that we can. Thank you very much, and that's all I have. Okay, moving right along. Uh, Commissioner Bone. <clears throat> yes, I would like to have a resolution to add a permanent memorial for citizens who have served our community. I get a motion. I move we grant that. You making that in a motion? Yes. <laughs> he did make yeah. that a motion. Second. second. I got a motion, second discussion. Uh, you want to tell? Go ahead. Well, the, we're going to start a memorial for those who have served in our community, that's in the public office or not, or or in law enforcement, or those who have servants of our community. One of them being uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff Cobb, who recently passed, and one of them, and I know we talked about one of them being Jimmy Martin, who has served our community for many years, and also, let's not forget Mr. Mike Smith. And I'm sure there'll be others, and please, y'all guys, some of y'all older than I am that know the people that serve this community, we got a place picked out up there that we're going to put uh, this. Uh, this was a Commissioner Bone come up with this idea. It was a fabulous idea to to honor Jeff, and and uh, we we got Jeff's family with us tonight. I'm glad. Thank y'all for coming out for this uh, a very special occasion. It's dear to y'all's heart as it is here in uh, in this community. So, thank you, Mr. Bone. Can uh, any more discussion? Can I get a vote? All in favor, say aye. 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 None opposed. Also, I would like a vote. Uh, resolution to seek bids for an ice machine down at Higgins Perry. Got a motion. Can we get a second? <coughs> second. Uh, I, I'll, uh, I've got a second open for discussion. I also uh, spoke with Matthew Mims, who couldn't be here tonight. And I, uh, s did you send that email out that I sent you? Okay, but McKeesha's going to send y'all an email tonight of that what we discussed in the work session about that bag ice by the pound. Mm -hmm. It's a really good email that I want y'all to look into. Uh, it gives us options of what we can do. Uh, it gives us a lot more options and we can be under the bid law if we went this direction. Uh, could uh, We could actually purchase up to four if we need it that we don't need and be under the bid law. So uh, if you would work on that for me please and send that out to them. Did you get it from me? Okay. So McKeesha's going to send that out to you. Y'all can look over so it. And we're still open for discussion on that, right? Yes, we are. That machine that he's talking about only accepts credit cards. It does not accept cash. That's right. Okay. Well, I understand. We'll just keep that in mind. You just had a brand credit card. <laughs> are you going to use the specs that you We could still. I'm sorry. We can still send this out for bid, but I want, what I'm saying is we can still send this out for bid uh -huh. on the specs if you've got them. Uh, I don't have them with me. You don't have them with you. But you can get them to her with the specs and still look at our options, keep our options open. Okay. I mean, we don't have to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and if we can send them out for specs. So anybody, anybody for the discussion? Anybody questions? All in favor to let Commissioner Bone put this out for bid as a specs for an ice machine. Say aye. 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 All in favor, I said aye, and then none opposed. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. Uh, Commissioner Headley? I don't have anything. Commissioner Kelly? No, sir. Commissioner Nims absent. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Uh, we may need to rescind the resolution of the speed bumps to Isabella, uh, or do we just need to a resolution to not put them back down? Uh, Mr. Bates. We done told Tony not to put them back down. I, I know, but we got to have a resolution because there was a resolution that put them in place. Mm -hmm. We've been, we've already been down that road. So we probably need to. We need to rescind it. Re re yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they're already up. They just had, they've already paved and we won't know about putting them back. No, I move we, we do not put speed bumps back at Isabella School and the school was asked to remove those from their parking lot. Can we get a second? I'll second. Oh, in discussion? Uh, yeah, are they are they gonna put the little rumble scripts? <laughs> no, no, it's so just let them get run. I don't want no. I don't want anything right. out Let's there. Let's go with. It. You just had to slow down, Joe. I don't go down that way. <coughs> <coughs> there you go. 
Okay, can we have a motion to second any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Uh, Commissioner, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We have, uh, some months back, we put the Red Cross on notice month to month and uh, talking with uh, some people. We need to ask them to vacate because we need that those rooms at that building for our veterans who are having to climb the steps here to get the second floor and wheelchairs. They can't get in the elevator and that's ground floor down there. Can I, I make it need a motion? Can I get, oh, we got a motion, can I get a second for discussion? Second. All right, we got a second for discussion. I, I thought our veterans office was open under no. the, oh, is that no, the, it's uh, upstairs. We, we have the one upstairs. Disabled veterans up here, Joe, and they're walking up all these stairs to get up there across from the sheriff's office. And some don't come had, because they can't get in the elevator. I had checked on I, this. I thought they was open. Didn't Steve? That's a different one. That's a different. Yes, end. you got different. <laughs> okay, I got. I, I checked on this. Me and me and uh, Sylvia. And, uh, we checked on our the idea was to to before we put anybody in that other office up there was to try to get the DMV to move from down there up here and to so that we could um, have CDL testing here in in Chilton County we have a lot of people that do CDLs that have to go to Selma or Montgomery to, to get their CDL testing written testing so I could see the uh, one of my uh, colleagues shaking their head not my colleagues but my my sheriff shaking his head no because he must he must need that building but uh, um, but yeah, before we before we fill that building for, before we fill that building so um, uh, I just want to make sure we keep that in mind. But yes, I'm in. Uh, the, 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 if you ever been to the Red Cross over, uh, if you haven't, go visit over. It is more of a nothing against the Red Cross. It's more of a story. It, it's a junk story. It's and, what it is. And and uh, so we got a resolution. We got a second. Any more for the discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Let the record state. And can I get a motion? I move adjourn. Second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Get out of here. Thank you.